Okay today we are going to check out how to add or remove emphasis from your prompts. So basically when using your prompts, utilizing brackets like square or round brackets can make a difference. Like this guy has explained in this Geetha post. He has explained it really well and in a really technical way. So check it out if you want to know the full science behind it. Anyway in short, this statement is the most important. If you use a round bracket, the weight of that enclosed word is multiplied by 1.1. Vice versa if you use a square bracket it's divided by 1.1. So let's try with some examples. First copy the negative prompt. I'll link it in the description. Adjust the quality scale and guidance to your convenience. I am setting it to 70 and 17.5 respectively. Then enter our prompt. Half body front facing portrait of a man with brown hair and blue eyes. Add Greg Rakoski to get a digital art style. So let's run it. We got what we expected but it doesn't seem to cover much area. So let's add more emphasis to the word half body. So that more area is covered. We add 6 brackets meaning it is multiplied by 1.775. Now let's see our new result. Here we can see a bigger picture of him. But he is not facing front. We should put some emphasis on front facing. So let's try 3 brackets and see what we get. Ok now generate. There we go. We have got a bigger picture than the original and it is front facing. I'll leave it up to you to try the converse. At the end of the day these bracket adjustments do not make a vast difference. They are mostly used if you find unwanted details in your picture. So they are made for that OC case. Hence the small multiplier of 1.1. Okay so hope you understood about the use of brackets in prompts. I have included the relevant links in the description. Do check them out. Okay so that's about it for now. Have a good day.